Salut à tous les amis, on va continuer notre aventure sur Sherlock comme ça. Chapter 1, alors peut-être on l'attaque aujourd'hui en ce qui concerne uniquement l'aventure principale, hein, c'est-à-dire la rubrique Mon Histoire. On l'attaque peut-être à la fin de l'aventure, la fin de notre aventure de Sherlock tout simplement. Après bon, il y a d'autres affaires en parallèle, hein, comme vous le voyez ici, les récits de Cordelin, il y a plein de choses à faire. On a fait déjà pas mal d'affaires, hein, vous voyez tout ce qu'on a fait là, affaires archivées, c'est tout ce qu'on a déjà fini. Et euh, en ce qui concerne l'aventure principale, je pense qu'on est vraiment, vraiment vers la fin. Et euh, on s'est arrêté ici, hein, dans la soirée, où on a enquêté sur un me le meurtre de Fabio dans l'hôtel. Et là, apparemment, on doit chercher le meurtrier. Et pour l'instant, le meurtrier, euh, on ne sait pas où il est. Il paraît s'agit que le meurtrier avait sa propre clé. Si je parvenais à dresser une liste des individus possédant la clé de la salle de l'hôtel, je pourrais ainsi réduire le nombre de suspects potentiels. Donc, à mon avis, on doit rechercher un certain nombre de personnes. Et où chercher Ça, j'en sais rien. I guarantee we'll have a good time. Où est-ce qu'il pourrait se cacher Non. Let me know if you need anything, sir. Il doit être caché, caché quelque part. Non, ben, ben, ben. Oh, don't act like you haven't thought about it, darling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't act like you haven't thought about it, darling. Il doit bien se cacher l'enfoiré. C'est quelqu'un qui doit avoir une clé apparemment. I'm a little nervous. Another glass should calm me down. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Oh, sir, I'm afraid I don't know about that. Oh, hey, handsome. I see that look in your eyes. Wanna go somewhere more private? Pourquoi pas? Que tu me donnes Are you nouvelle. able to help me? I can't help you with that, sir. Where's he? Where's he? Peut-être que j'aurai des informations. On va retourner à l'hôtel parce que là, je vois pas du tout. Il a pas des informations, lui. On va voir. Euh... I can't follow you here. The murderer had to have access to this room. After the crime, he used his own key to lock the door. So, who had the key to the altar room? I'm not sure. As a special guest, I was provided one by Mr. Manchios. He should be able to tell you of any others. Where can I find him? Most likely in the main hall, entertaining his guests. He has a mask with golden stars. You can't miss him. But please be discreet. We don't want to risk disturbing the revelry. Okay. 
Alors. Très bien. On va épingler ça. Je me dis qu'il a personne. Moi, je porte un masque orné d'étoiles d'or et de vrais sens en goût de l'air nerveux en... en raison de la découverte récente du corps. Ok. Alors. Donc, il ignore qui pouvait être un moment. Hein. Ok. Parfait. Bon, j'ai bien fait de revenir ici. Hein. Alors, où est-ce qu'il est le guignol Où est-ce qu'il est ce fou I'm so excited about the event. Mmh. Oh, mais il est là, c'est lui là. Kurt Manchios, voilà. I presume. I'm Sherlock Holmes. Oh, you must be the one Werner told me about. What a sweet voice you have. It must belong to a handsome young man. Can I call you Sherlock? As you wish, Mr. Manchios. Mr. Vogel asked me to help you. The body in the altar room requires answers, and quickly, I suspect the murderer to still be here. What? Lower your voice. I don't want anyone to hear us. I need to find all those who had the key to the altar room. As far as I know, Mr. Vogel, Fabio, and you had access to it. Is that correct? That is correct, yes. Also, Matista and Santos. Santos? Who is that? Santos Pinchetti, my major domo, in his opinion at least. Okay. I'd like to speak to Mr. Pinchetti and Matista. Do you have somewhere I might have a private conversation with them? Of course, of course. Let me think. Matista is entertaining the guests somewhere, and Santos. Oh, yes. He will be busy with the servants. Or the cook. What's that noise? What's going on? Et là, c'est la merde. Freeze, filth. You're under arrest. Ils sont tous arrivés d'un coup, quoi. Ah oui, ils les ont tous tués, quoi. Ouais, il s'est pris pour un ninja, lui. J'étais prêt à finir mon enquête et eux, ils ont tout gâché. Ah oui, bah tant qu'à faire la musique aussi, non Committed a crime, and now I have to free you, kiss your hand, and apologize for the inconvenience. Your Grace. I did tell you that Mr. Vogel and I were innocent. I emphasized it in my statement. Your statement? Thanks to some bigwigs who work for the so-called good of the country by releasing fleas like you. Thank God we have Vogel in this letter. Once I get to that goldfish, I'll... Bigwig? Oh, my wretched brother Mycroft and his long nose. Wait, did you say Mycroft? Mycroft Holmes. Are you the youngest son of Violet Holmes, rest her soul? You knew my mother? Not personally, no. Not exactly. I was working on the paperwork for that case. Would you happen to remember anything of the events? Well, I didn't make the inquiry, but I remember seeing some notes. Why? Perhaps we can negotiate. I could be quite useful. Huh. Got you hooked, right? You know what? Stark and the others think they're the smartest here, thanks to you. Let me get this straight. Are you listening to me, lad? I'm all ears. Take this case. Report to me only, to Constable Harvey Oswald. 
I'll leave everything I have on this table. Find the murderer. Be a real copper. Question the suspects, make them sing, give me something substantial. And if Mr. Vogel is not a suspect? If he's innocent, then you can take your favourite degenerate away from here. If you slip or mess with the evidence, then trust me, your brother won't save you from my bludgeon. Meanwhile, I'll be checking the archive for you. If anybody asks, then you're a consulting detective. Let's make a start then, partner. Ok, j'ai dû me débrouiller tout seul jusqu'à avant que vous débarquiez quand même. Ils m'ont emmené carrément en cellule les enfoirés. Alors, la scène d'enseignement donnée par un témoin ici, c'est ce rituel satanique. La descente sur l'emballement de choses a été autorisée. Hein, portant des masques, hein. le corps de la victime a été retrouvé étendu sur un hôtel avec une blessure au couteau. Là, là. Fabien, l'artiste des charmes, d'accord. Ah oui, ça s'appelle une lettre de caractère injurie écrite par la victime. Il prétend avoir trouvé le corps, mais se faisait le réputé pour sa personnalité excentrique. Posséder l'arme du crime, une dague imprégnée. Bon, ça, c'est tout ce qu'on a vécu déjà dans le. Propriétaire du malheur organisé. Ouais, bon, Matista. Ouais, Essayer de s'échapper et à résister lors de l'arrestation. Possédant un livre contenant une description du rituel. Et ah Plusieurs invités ont été placés en détention. Ah, d'accord. Ok. Bon, bah, du coup, les clés, non Back on track to solve the case. Des salles d'interrogatoire, d'accord. Alors, c'est le moment de la suite de son démonage et une au suspect du manoir. Mm -hmm. Il sacrifie un. Hein. Dès l'instant où on a trouvé les ailes de ma victime, pour s'y préciter. Hein. La police a réagi à l'exposant. Hein. Ouais, ok. Et enfin, le dernier truc. Le détenteur de ce ticket est autorisé à examiner toutes les preuves relatives. D'accord. Bon. Alors, ticket de machin, déposition de trucs, et les clés. Alors, puis j'ai les mages d'or, mais... Et de tenue à l'être... Alors Fabio a été tué dans un meurtre rituel. Le rituel était une diversion. Euh... Le meurtre est une personne unique qui ouvre la porte de la salle de l'hôtel et la ferme à clé. Ouais, ça. Euh... C'est un suspect pour ça dans la clé. Bon. On va déjà voir les autres trucs. Look, I found Verna. I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm helping Constable Oswald. You are Matista, Fabio's friend. This body. Yes, it's Matista. But it's a mere shell that will die someday. Just like Fabio. Fabio knew the risks. Selling his body to degenerates who hid behind robes and masks, it could not end well. That's only your distorted understanding of safety. Officers here, they wear robes and masks too. It's a dangerous lifestyle. But it's not as though we were given many other choices. I'm just here to ask questions and find Fabio's murderer. It will not bring Fabio back. Okay, a tatouage. Elle se tatoue elle-même, d'accord. Nerveuse. Bon, ça, ça, ça fait normal. 
peut infliger elle-même. Ah ouais, toi t'es violente, toi t'es... Tu te mutiles carrément, t'es pas bien toi. Vieille et un peu invisible. Marqué au fer euh, chaud. Ah, récemment affiché. T'as un problème, toi Tu es puni pour son passé, dis ceci son corps. A connu une vidéo, devenu excès, et maintenant. Euh, et fait la rencontre de Fabio au cours des dégâts ce qui explique pourquoi ceci porte la même stigmate. C'est juste quelque chose sur le produit d'investissement qu'elle subit à l'adolescence. Euh. Elle se fait en invité, il dispose d'une section où hein, il existe. Mm -hmm. Et ma tome, gorgée de sang. Fabio and yourself were slaves, am I correct? You have a similar branding on your body. Yes. It was. A long time ago. Couldn't help but also notice fresh cuts upon your forearms. The cuts help me to forget my past, to cover the old wounds and hide them. How did you escape? Something happened. One night the master fell down the stairs. I made him fall, and he died. We ran away that day. We managed to get on a ship and traveled here, to Gordona. Fabio and I started a new life here. It was very hard at first, but it became better with time. Until today. The bruises on your neck are not self-inflicted. Someone else made them. Some guests can't contain themselves. They even bite, sometimes. Ah ouais, toi t'es atteint, meuf. C'était pas bien. Alors, ma question pour ces blessures récentes. Quand je me disais présent des émettements autour des auteurs qui sont brutales avec des invités lors de la soirée. Ok. Hmm. Fabio a blessé Matista. Lors de l'interaction dans le manoir, Fabio a blessé Matista. Le corps de Matissa présente des hématomes résultant de ses interactions brutales avec les invités lors de la soirée. Est-ce que c'est Fabio ou c'est les invités euh... Ah, je sais pas. Il y a des trucs qui me... Je sais pas encore. Plein de choses encore sans réponse. Hein. Ok. Ok. Bon, là pour l'instant. Ça va, on va essayer de. d'interroger les autres. Pour essayer d'avoir un truc global, quoi. Good day, Mr. Manchios. I am Constable Oswald's partner in this investigation. Be quick and gentle. Some of your colleagues are untrained boars. Although I don't mind meeting young officers, the new blood here. If you cooperate in finding Fabio's murderer, there will be no need to meet with the boars again. That voice. Furnace, friend? You're the policeman. What a disappointment. Only an undercover agent can scour a ditch full of deviants. I am a consulting detective. Although I'm capable of replacing the entire department through my consultations. Sharp-tongued, I like it. May I presume this tongue will get us out of this trouble? I would be so indebted and glad to repay you. Nothing's changed. I'm looking for the murderer. That's the only way to get us out of trouble. But it shouldn't take much time, correct? We're all busy, after all. I need to examine you first. There you go. Porte du maquillage. Okay. C'est trop vite laver les mains. 
Aha. Irritation due à la teinture. D'accord. Chaussures très chères. Alors, du maquillage, irritation due à la teinture, c'est trop vite laver les mains. Ça veut dire quoi ça Tout à l'heure, il s'éteint les cheveux pour relever son apparence et utilise tous nos produits chimiques pour faire sa toilette que sa peau sent sérieusement abîmée. Son vieillissement l'obsède à tel point qu'il porte du maquillage et s'éteint les cheveux pour se retirer quelques années. Pff, euh, pff. Chaussures très chères. Hein. Ouais, je pense que c'est plutôt ça. Hein. Il s'éteint les cheveux pour relever son apparence et utilise tant de produits chimiques pour faire sa toilette que sa peau sont, on voit sérieusement abîmée. Wow, je pense que c'est ça. Hein. Je suis pas sûr, mais bon. You are so focused on cleanliness that these products are severely damaging your skin. I would laugh at you. <laughs> If only my cheeks didn't hurt. Not exactly. I try to take care of my body. A young man who has yet to confront his own aging couldn't hope to understand. These chemicals are quite literally melting your face. Ah, the price of beauty. I'll be fine. I'm sure of it. Such a methodical man who cares for his body but misses the soap under his fingernails. Are you so impatient or perhaps even impulsive? I wouldn't call myself that. Silly little details. If I missed it, it wasn't important. Or rather, it was less important than who or what I was focused on. Okay. Mr. Vogel told me a little about your parties, but I would like to know more directly from you. I'm all yours, Sherlock. You have me arrested and locked here, with you alone. I'd like to know who you usually invite to your parties. Free minds who are able to leave reality for an evening, who can taste forbidden fruit without prejudice. There is nothing that quite spices up life like these parties, assuming one is old enough and has worked many years for the good of one's country. Oh, all true laborers, I see. Why did you invite Mr. Vogel as your special guest? He's a pretty fellow. He's capable of surprising the public. He has a talent for saying words that no one else would wish to either say or hear. I suppose I can't argue with that. He is a free addition to the eccentricity of the party, which is fine by me, as long as it enhances my party. What was Fabio like? His personality, his habits? Anything you can tell me? He was the brightest star of my parties. Young, magnetic, and full of energy. I don't even want to mention his beauty. Otherwise, I'll be sobbing. An expensive champion, I imagine. His performances were flawless. He deserved his payment. Do you think he was murdered because of money? Possibly. What about the other guests? Were they used to opening their wallets as well? I wouldn't restrict my guests from anything. I'm sure Fabio received a few coins from others for his services. Okay. Hello. You'd better ask someone else. I've no idea about that. That's not something I know much about. I've no idea about that. You'd better ask someone else. <sighs> I've no idea about that. You'd better ask someone else. Ah oui. You'd better non. ask someone else. That's not something bah alors, I know much about. Quoi, là, je, je fais tout, là. That's not something I know much about. That's not something I know much about. Mais quoi, dit, là. Rien ne marche. You'd better ask someone else. That's not something I know much about. You'd better ask someone else. Do you have any idea ah, bah, attends, to raid your mansion, Mr. Manchios? Of course. It was you. I could even say you Sherlocked me in here. A good guess, but the wrong one. The fellow who did that was Mr. Pinchetti, your major domer. What? Santos? But how could he even know? If he's not the murderer himself. The ungrateful swine. 
he has dared to besmirch my reputation. Not a very eloquent choice of words. What should I call him then, since he's a snitch? Make him talk, Sherlock. I'm quite certain he knows more about the murder than he has told the police. Oh, bon. That's not something I know much about. You'd better ask someone else. You bought an expensive pair of cufflinks for Fabio. Were they his price? Or were they a tip for an exclusive show? It was pure business. Fabio escorted me a few times. I was merely showing my gratitude. This pair cost a small fortune. You must be extremely grateful then. Tell me more. You've thrust a knife in an exposed nerve, Sherlock. Yes, he was my protege and my beacon also. With my experience and his beauty, we could have achieved anything. I had faith in him. I would have made him. Ok. On nous a donné pas mal d'infos, lui. Alors. Il était pris admis qu'il prouvait de forts sentiments pour Fabio. Cœur de Dieu s'est soigneusement préparé pour la souris de débauche qu'il a. s'est préparé pour la débauche. Désolé, je pour la débauche qui comptait passer. Je me suis rincé le sang qui figurait sur son corps après le meurtre de Fabio. Euh... Je suis pas sûr, mais bon. C'est la meuf. Là, je peux pas y aller. Ok. Avec personne. Bon. Verna, are you all right? Oh yes, yes. Everything's fine. In fact, it's something of a family reunion. My brother spent quite some time in this place himself. You should not be here. I told the police everything I knew, but they refused to let you go. They require proof to free you. Ha! What did you expect? The mighty Sherlock Holmes swans in, tells the officers what to think, and the world obeys? Of course not. Anyway, I struck a deal with the constable, and I've got a free hand in the investigation. I find proof to solve the case for him. He obtains files about my mother's death for me. Well done. If one has the power or will and can act, then one must. I wonder, suppose you couldn't get the proof to your truth. Would you tell a lie to the guard that enabled my freedom, knowing my innocence? Would that not be just? There are lines I will not cross, Werner. I will do my best to secure your release, but with proof, not deception. Really? How many white lies have you told on this island? Why not for me? Why not another? That is absurd. I can resolve this without compromises. Do not give up hope. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I can't follow you here. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I'm not supposed to know anything about this. I'm not supposed to know anything about this. I don't think I can tell you. Ouais, je vais pas tous les faire parce que je vois pas d'autres que je pourrais faire. I don't know anything about this. I'm not supposed to know anything about this. I'm not supposed to know anything about this. I oh bah. learned who told the police. Désolé, je suis parce que Santos Punchetti. Do I know him? The major domo of the manor. He cleans up after you. Well, then he does his job perfectly. All but invisible. I couldn't tell you the first thing about him. I know you can untangle this mess. Bon. Mais il n'a aucune idée de l'identité de ce dernier. Je 
I know I can handle the news. I can't wrap my head around such a tragedy at my party. Mais il est où le mec This area is restricted. Oh. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I've nothing to say about this. Oh, je fais au pif, hein, les gars. Have you seen Mr. Santos Pinchetti as a suspect? The snitch? Have you seen him? I mean, my breath could knock him down. What's so special about him? As a major domo, he has keys that open all the rooms, including the one to the crime scene. Could have testified only to circumvent suspicion, don't you think? We need to question him. Right. I'll send our men to fetch him. Stay here. They brought him in, Mr. Holmes. Here's the key to interrogation room number seven. Mr. Pinchetti didn't even resist, our men said. Thank you. Okay. Alors, numéro 7, on a dit, hein. Numéro 7, c'est au bout. Mr. Pinchetti, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Sherlock Holmes. I'm helping Constable Oswald. I've already told him everything I know. I'm only a witness. Uh, everything's in my report. And I've read it. You forgot to mention that you hold the keys to the room where Fabio was found. I need only to find if the crime was intentional. But I need to return to my duties. I doubt the house will fall without you, Mr. Pinchetti. Just be still for a few seconds. Compté plusieurs fois. Pseudorésis ou allergie. D'accord. Teint plus d'une fois. Ok. Les chaussures peut-être. Ouais. À marcher dans du sang. Oh Alors, un député d'argent qui passait dans cette nuit, c'est des princes à outrance. Une couche de maquillage, bon. Pourtant, c'est mieux sa personne de son cœur, souhaitant protéger l'image d'un homme moderne. Il a aussi tant se consommé à plusieurs reprises pour économiser davantage. Encore le majeur d'armes, visiblement. Rapier, c'est lui-même une multitude de trous personnellement sur l'habit. On porte plusieurs trous qui ont été là. Ouais. You are the major domo of a rich mansion, and you seem barely able to afford decent clothing. You hide, under heavy makeup, a skin disease that might be treated with more onerous but less harmful means. Do you have money troubles? I do not have a lot of means. The pay is below what you might expect. But you could easily change your job if your employer does not meet your elementary needs. One can change his employer, that is true. And the blood on your shoe, where does that come from? I don't actually know. Perhaps from a guest. Did you know Fabio? Uh, not personally. He was a frequent guest. And cleaning the mess after his performances was tedious. Mr. Manchios always had a role for him, and mainly the leading one. The parties were always um, Fabio-centric. And Matista? Was she as popular as her partner? Don't tell her I said this, but I do not think so. Mr. Manchios hired her only because Fabio refused to work without her. Mr. Manchios used to see her as a worker. She was tasked with entertaining the guests, unlike Fabio, who could pick and choose. Okay. Hmm. 
Pachetti n'a pas remarqué la tâche de sang sur le flanc de sa gauche quand il s'est lavé après le meurtre. Oh là là, il me dit pas que c'est le major Tom le, le tueur là. Pachetti n'a pas remarqué la tâche de sang sur le flanc de sa gauche quand il s'est lavé après le meurtre. Santos a peut-être marché au moment de découvrir la scène du crime. Ah oh bah ça je sais pas. cette histoire. I recognize the key from the altar room among these. Je trouve c'est lui le meurtrier. Sur un jeu bourgeon, Santos, mollusque, plein d'espoir que tu es. Tu m'as supplié de t'inclure dans ton test, alors que je me suis exécuté, voici dans le dernier... Le texte en lui-même en dessous du message. Sans problème, le marge du manoir. On recevra un pot de cire à moustache ainsi qu'une lampe de sel léguée par le... Hein Mr. Manchios says that you begged him to be included in the heritage. Isn't that a little extreme, even for a major domer? He's not only my employer, he's my uncle. And I'm his next of kin. The only one. Mr. Manchios flatly refuses to pay a family member. All I have to do is repay his so-called love. Cleaning up the filth after perverts and decadence. He's imprisoned me. The best I can hope for is a new broom. That's why I wanted to have my part of the inheritance. Is it that bad? You have a roof above your head, a salary, and the status of a major domo. For God's sake. I'm forced to dye and stitch my threadbare clothes, and the holes in my shoes are painful. I'm ashamed every time a guest looks at me closely. Why do you think your uncle treats you this way? My mother, my uncle's sister, had me illegitimately. She died, and I was given the surname of one of her maids. But you are entitled to some of the money that belongs to your family. He thinks not. I was not responsible for my mother's death. I work hard, and he pays me nothing. I feed on the leftovers. While he wastes our estate's property on decadent parties, he paid Fabio handsomely with expensive gifts for their disgusting relationship. Je pense que c'est lui le meurtrier, je sais pas pourquoi. Vu de ce qu'il dit là... Euh... Ben, a été forcé de travailler pour que de dans l'attente espérée de recevoir son héritage en vain. Je pense qu'il y a un rapport avec... Euh... Je pense que c'est le majordome qui est derrière l'histoire là. Je suis pas sûr, mais bon. Ça tombe sous le sens. Il est jaloux que... Il donne tout à Mathieu, c'est... En échange, lui, il a rien. Peut-être c'est ça, hein. Dans la logique des choses, ça doit être ça. Le air ici est assez refreshing. Je vais même recommander que certains de mes amis visitent le lieu. On va essayer de voir si on peut avoir d'autres informations. Je sais que je peux gérer les news. Uh. I've read the letter about your will. A harsh method of ridiculing Santos. I doubt he will use mustache wax when he wears no mustache to begin with. Where did you get it? Is the slug here? Tell him. I shouldn't have to provide for him. He's a grown man who shouldn't sit on his uncle's neck. He conceives himself as my only heir. And who is he to you? He's a leech on my aging body. He has only added problems to my life since the death of his mother. I fail to see why you made him your major domo. He needed to know his place, so I taught him. I can't wrap my head around such a tragedy at my party. Uh, 
essayer de retourner voir les flics peut-être. Ok, 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 ok. Il y a forcément autre chose à fournir là, parce que là... C'est... oui, c'est tordu comme truc. I can't go back to prison. Vérifie qu'il n'y a rien à ramasser d'autre. I can't wrap my head around such a tragedy at my party. I know I can handle the news. Please let me out. Oh non, je peux te laisser partir tout seul comme ça, je te le dis. Qu'est-ce que je pourrais faire hier pour toi I can't wrap my head around such a tragedy at my party. Là, je sais pas du tout. Faire numéro 62-60. Peut-être on va retrouver, retourner dans les archives là, alors. Nastiqué. Peut-être dans la police. Hein. C'est un crime violent quand même. Non. Voilà, là, je vois pas. Continue our investigation while I look for the papers. Ma curiosité a été piquée par la rumeur parlant de l'arrestation de Benjamin Cavallo, le propriétaire de la célèbre enseigne de ces gardiens. Hein Un homme, Nicolo Detti, a été retrouvé mort à l'intérieur d'un coffre situé dans la boutique de Basilo. Cette année, la firme de. Oh, c'est une nouvelle affaire, ça Oh, je m'en fous. Je m'en fous, ça. Ah oui, c'est vrai, il fallait que je... J'envoie le ticket. Il y a le ticket. Et non. Voilà. Je voudrais vérifier les évidences de ce cas. Et qui êtes-vous Oswald m'a envoyé. Je suis un consultant détective. Il est son partenaire, alors Let me see. Ah, a ritual murder. What a bunch of degenerates. Wait a second, I'll bring it to the table. Kiki, Kiki, Kiki. Ah. Oh. All the keys of the mansion on one golden ring. Ah, oh, but tant mieux. It's a miracle this ruby hasn't tempted anyone. A heavily perfumed handkerchief with the initials KM in the corner. KM. That's not for bedtime reading. This ex libris belongs to Mancio's library. Okay, the police have retrouvé ce cul de Matista. D'accord. Il ressemble des éléments que je descrive en détail d'un rituel. Oh! The book describes okay. a ritual similar to the one performed in the altar room. Oh, 
Her key to the altar room. A handcrafted charm that contains hair and nail clippings. Ah, oh, elle me dit pas que c'est Mathilda, le enfin le Matista dans le bordel là. Il y a un autre qui figurait parmi les preuves à charge. As-tu perdu l'argent Tu n'es pas capable de contrôler ton problème Attends, moi je ne peux pas me permettre d'ignorer ce genre de comportement. J'ai mis d'entretien, je me divertis avec qui bon semble. Je ne suis pas une autre Matista. Tu me plais, mais tu ne m'es pas acheté. Naturellement, je compte garder tous ces dons généreux, même s'il est porté là. Fabio. Oh, Jojo An emergency kit for boredom. Okay. Il manque un truc que j'ai pas vu. Ah ça. Werner's personal sketchbook. Thank you, officer. Okay. Pas mal de choses à fouiller là. Alors. Lettre Kuro... Kuro C de Fabio. Qu'il a gardé en composition d'un traitement jugé inacceptable. Selon les dires de Jean Lampetiti et le vendu de sa lettre, il se peut que celle-ci fût adressée à Kurt Manchios. Ok. Alors... Eric était figé dans la gorge de Bologne et peut-être dans un sans Santos a parlé de projet de Alors là aussi, Fabio lui a fait mention de bon qu'il comptait garder pour se dommager du mauvais temps de l'estimateur. Il semblerait bien ce que... Bon, on va aller... Euh... Oui, je sais. On va aller interroger encore... Euh... Mes chers amis, parce qu'il y a des choses suspectes. Toi là. Euh... Non, pas ça. Ça. This book, the power of love, blood and mandrake. What do you hope to achieve? To learn more about the invisible strengths that govern us. Occultism is real. The master who fell that night when Fabio and I escaped, I made him fall. I cast a spell on him, and it worked. Or was it a coincidence? The universe is really so lazy. If you say so. <laughs> Could Fabio have written this letter to Kurt Manchios? Oh. That could be. I never thought Mr. Manchios could make Fabio that angry, though. What do you mean? Well, Fabio wanted to disassociate from Mr. Manchios. Clients who are in love with yeah, a blessing blague. and a curse. But Fabio was here tonight. Money. In our line of work, we can't afford to turn down clients who pay as well as Kurt Manchios. Was Fabio afraid of Mr. Manchios? Not at all. The old toad wouldn't dare to do more than sweet talk and touch. Ah oh ouais, c'est partout en délire le truc. And touching washed away. Do you practice occult rituals? For protection? For fortune? To wash away the ugliness of the world? Sometimes to survive. I have the gift, and I'm learning to use it better. Did you use your gift on Fabio? I only used white magic. <laughs> Love charms lately. Fabio became so distant. I just wanted him to be with me. But I suppose I'm not as skilled as I thought. Ah oui, non, mais là c'est une histoire de malade là. Fabio voulait couper les ponts avec Kurt. Le cul, là. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Matista a peut-être exécuté le rituel sur Fabio dans le but de raviver l'amour pour que le dernier lui portait jadis. Waouh, ça part en cacahuète cette histoire. Fabio a provoqué en Kurt Kersus un insondable chagrin. Why, 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 why. Euh, ok, attends. Euh... <rire> Y a pas mal de choses tordues, hein. Attendez, faut que je, 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 je sculpte d'autres personnages là. Lui, là, par exemple. 
There is undeniable evidence that you were the original recipient of this letter. What are you talking about? Is it addressed to me? Your protege wanted a fresh start, it seems. This is sufficient to charge you. Me? Hurt my star? Are you insane that you would accuse me of such a thing? He did not consider himself as yours. Since you deny everything, let's move on. Do you have any idea as to how the letter could have ended up in Mr. Vogel's pocket? You were the detective. Perhaps he took it from Fabio. Werner was a little high. T'es bizarre, toi, frère. Do you recognize this book? Could Matista have borrowed it from your library? She didn't ask me. How ungrateful. The things described in the book were inspiration for the rituals you performed? Do you really believe that blood, symbols, and incantations can resurrect the dead? They are just eerie tales with a mix of occultism and voodoo. My rituals are a stage to show some of the forbidden pleasures. Il est bizarre ce mec, il est bizarre. Euh, tac tac tac. On voit ça, on verra plus tard. Quoique je vais même pas le faire cette quête. Euh, non, pas lui. Lui. Please let me out. Oh non. Là, on va poser une question à lui là. Euh. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I don't think I can tell you anything about this. I have reason to believe that the intended recipient of the incriminating letter may have been Kurt Manchios. Well, that makes sense. Too bad I can't remember how I came to possess it. Though I did spend quite some time with Mr. Manchios during the party. Unfortunately, even with an answer, that may still not be enough to clear you with the police. But fear not, I will persevere. I hope your attempt to put things straight will make up for you being on a bender. Touche. Vogue and Manchus, un des deux ment. Ah oui, forcément. Alors, Vogue, la lettre et son état second. Dernier Rogel a pris la lettre lui-même alors qu'il était dans un état second engendré par diverses substances. Manchus a placé la lettre. Kurt Manchus a glissé la lettre dans la poche de Vogel afin d'attirer les soupçons sur lui. Moi, je pense que c'est plutôt ça. Tu quelque chose à me dire, toi Please, non. Wow, C'est un bordel, ce, cette enquête. Hein. I know I can handle the news. Okay. I can't wrap my head oui, tais-toi, tais-toi, tais-toi. Tais tais Je vais retourner voir l'enquêteur, là, parce que lui, il est... Il a peut-être des choses à me dire. Alors... This letter proves nothing. Fabio wrote it to Mr. Manchios. It's time to free Mr. Vogel. Do you really think I'm that naive? I need proof, not words from his friend. Very well. Mr. Pinchetti told me that Mr. Manchios was lavishing Fabio with expensive and eccentric gifts. The letter mentions rich rewards and attempts to buy Fabio with them. It was written to Mr. Manchios. Who else was showering Fabio with luxuries to buy him? It doesn't fit Mr. Vogel's character. Look here. We had a deal. Give me the murderer and then take your friend with you. I won't budge otherwise. Well, fine, but you're just wasting time. Continue our investigation while I look for the papers. Oh yeah, 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 relou lui. Cette enquête va durer 150 ans, c'est pas possible. I can't wrap my head around such a tragedy at my party. I know I can handle the news. Désolé, je fouille un peu partout parce que j'ai aucune autre indication. The air here is rather refreshing. I'd even recommend that some of my friends with me. Ah là. Il est interprété de lettre de réprimande écrite par Fabio. Ok, 
Qu'est-ce que ça peut être Alors, Kerman Chos et le meurtrier. Des années durant, Fabio a joué avec le cœur de Kerman Chos. Il a abusé de l'intérêt que lui portait. Ok. Quand Machos a essuyé un énième refus de l'effet, il a assassiné et mis en scène un rituel d'amour pour ne pas éveiller les soupçons. Car Machos, le cœur brisé, a cédé à la panique et ne voulait pas tuer Fabio. Le rituel improvisé n'était qu'une tentative désespérée de cacher le crime. Une peine de prison devrait suffire car le vrai châtiment est la perte de son bien-aimé. Quand euh, Machos a tué Fabio de sang-froid, il a déguisé son crime en rituel afin d'incriminer Matista et a placé la lettre dans la poche de Vogel pour écarter les soupçons. Il n'a aucune considération pour la vie d'autrui, il mérite la potence. Ouais, je suis plutôt... C'est... Je pense que c'est ça, en fait. C'est un prédateur, un prédateur, un prédateur, ouais. Il a tué Fabio de sang-froid, il a déguisé son crime en rituel afin d'incriminer Matista. Et a placé la lettre dans la poche de Vogel. Ah, je crois que c'est ça. Je pense que c'est plutôt ça. Continue our investigation while I look for the place. Attends, 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 attends. J'allais déjà voir euh, notre cher ami là-bas là. Et après j'irai voir l'autre con. Are you done yet? Oui, attends, attends. Can I leave? Lui là. The murder of Fabio did not have a ritual purpose, Mr. Manchios. It was staged by a man who wished to distract the investigation. That might be true. That poor girl, Matista, wouldn't dare to kill the only man who cared for her. So, Santos. Mr. Pinchetti snatched at the chance to solve his problems. Ungrateful little scum. Will he be executed? For what for? He informed the police as to the crime, that was all. He couldn't stage the ritual, but he found the body, I believe. I can't believe it. Why did Werner do it? Mr. Vogel. He had no reason, and he won't be a scapegoat as you plan. You put Fabio's letter in his pocket when he was intoxicated, didn't you? You can't be serious. We can very often deduce someone's life by their shoes, or their fingernails. You are a meticulous person, but this murder was fairly traumatic and filthy. After you stabbed Fabio, you were covered in blood. You panicked and neglected to rinse the soap from under your fingernails. The devil is in the details, Mr. Manchus. Nonsense. I missed it simply because of the busy schedule of the party. Of course, a staged murder was certainly not planned. You're at the twilight of your life. You have no partner, you have no children. You had feelings, however, for one man. That was Fabio. You loved him. That is, you wished to own him with money and gifts. But he was also a free mind, was he not? He turned his back on you. Quite unjust, love, so cruel and painful, and Fabio, with his words and deeds, made you feel the more wretched. So you killed him. You must surely perceive that my sensitive nature wouldn't allow me to hurt anyone. You staged the murder as a satanic ritual. It was easy for you, since you were the one who wrote the scenarios for the parties. It was your way of avoiding suspicion. A respectable man in his 60s, early 60s, who hosts the cream of Cordona society, cannot possibly be a murderer. But the guests who behave like animals in his mansion, of course, one of them could have killed Fabio. I did oversee a few of the rituals, but I did not stage Fabio's death. The young performer played with your emotions. That was painful to realize. You spent so much time and effort to be with Fabio, but he didn't respond in the way you would have liked. You wanted to be loved, but Fabio shattered your dreams. In the smoking lounge, he teased and mocked you. He wanted you to suffer by offering himself to others. The deception was unbearable. You struck him, and then you staged the ritual. You planted the letter in Vogel's pocket, and attempted to set up Matista. 
What poppycock? Sherlock, stop this game now. There is no stop word, Mr. Mancios. Relax and enjoy it. I'll pass the remainder of this case to Constable Oswald. He'll know what to do with you. Okay. Get on, Kurt, um, I have a name for you. Kurt Mancios. Is that so? The master of the Sabbath? The man himself. Mr. Mancios couldn't stand to lose control over his lover. A deadly revenge that deserves a proper sentence. I have all the evidence to charge him. A degenerate and a murderer. I'll make a name thanks to that for sure. As for my part, not everything was in place. Perhaps some documents were transferred somewhere else, but I couldn't find a trace of them. Then I remembered. The discarded document drawers where we put the lost papers or the badly labelled ones. Including the crime scene report of Violet Holmes's case. Everything I've found is on the desk here. Take it. Your persistence has saved me. Yeah, well, we had a deal after all. Your friend is free then. You can leave. Good luck, Constable. Okay. Les agents ont été dépêchés au malheur de l'un pour les cours. Ok. Garden. There's a garden behind our manor. How could I forget? That's where it all happened, where it all went wrong. Sherry? Oh, you did it, Sherlock! The case is closed and all rewards belong to the winner. Bravo! It is merely the triumph of the truth. Is it? No compromises? No lies? You're happy with your decisions? Whatever the truth, it had to be revealed. The victim deserved it. Well, you seem confident in the value of your actions. I guess since I'm free, you were heard after all. By the way, did you get that precious information about your mother? Oh, not that you must. Yes, I did. Forgive my intrusion in such a personal matter. I simply worry I'm failing to be of much help to you. Actually, you were. For some reason, all the archives on the case had disappeared. This was a rare opportunity to obtain the impossible. Outrageous. Perhaps someone found the truth unpleasant. Society usually rejects those who speak with too much honesty, doesn't it? A comfortable lie is often preferred to an uncomfortable truth. Still, I believe that the latter should prevail, and I cannot remain silent. That's quixotism at its best. Your mere truth cannot defeat institutions, systems and power. Etiquette, religion, marriage, they're all lies told to preserve connections, love and sanity, and it's all corruptible. Lies destroy human dignity. How could you make a free decision without any knowledge of the truth? Are we really free to decide anything in this world, Sherlock? Oh yes. It's a struggle, but yes, we can make our own decisions. That's what I fight for. And what an endless fight it is! Will you ever give yourself a break, Sherlock? You're a walking contradiction, Sherlock. You refuse to lie to others, but constantly lie to yourself. How long until the train comes off the track? I cannot look away, but perhaps I should take a few steps back. You're an accident waiting to happen, dear. Until then, I shall bid you adieu. Okay. Très bien. Merci noyé, sa blessure est peut-être une ultime humiliation de tuer ou une tentative d'espérer du sauveur. La blessure à son coup résultait d'une 
crash et ton ce qui n'a aucun sens, si elle était vraiment en train de se noyer. Les morts amorcelés. Ok. Ok. Bon, je pense qu'il y a d'autres choses à fouiller du côté du manoir. Et alors euh, Le manoir, il est là. Let's go. Alors. Euh, 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 euh. Ok. On va revenir dans notre... On va revenir... Euh... Comme c'est quasiment la fin de l'aventure. On va revenir dans notre habit habituel. <coughs> Alors. Tac, tac, tac. Je crois que c'est à l'intérieur. Hein. Voyons voir à l'intérieur. Alors, il faut que je repère cette, euh, cette zone-là. Ça doit être ça, voilà, c'est ça. Sherry, Sherry, please listen to me. Sherry. John, I always listen to you. You don't have to do this. You don't have to go through. I don't know what is beyond this door, but I can feel it buzzing, angry, like a fly at the window. I know. I can sense it too. You locked away this memory for a reason. There is only pain here. Pain? And truth? You do not need to suffer either. There is so much more we can do on Cordona. So many others we can help. There is no coming back from this. John, my animum, my brother, there is nothing more important in this moment than this truth. I know you fear for me, but my path was set long ago. I can no more step off it than I can ask the avalanche to roll back uphill. Just... please be careful, Sherry. I love you. Quite. Come on. We'll go together. Découvrons ce qui se passe pour cette fin. Why didn't I remember we had such a big garden? Maybe you forgot it for your own good. That's from Mother's favorite tea set. What is it doing in here? Come here, Sherry. Hurry! What are you thinking about? What are you thinking about? Is everything all right? Da da da. 
Bu da müzik. Hala. Don't go mother, wait. I remember this artifact from mother's collection. Mother's work journal. I liked poring over the detailed pages and reading about my parents' collection. Even if it is a worsening of her condition, it informs my... No, no. I have made my decision. She must be sent to a legitimate medical facility. I will not let her hurt Sherlock. What? Master Holmes, you do not understand. That will be all. I expect you to have left the house by week's end. Sherry, say something. Can you hear me? You're scaring me. Sherry, come here, darling. I'm waiting for you. Coming, Mother. This was for my mother, wasn't it? I remember how we came to the garden for a breath of fresh air. <sighs> Take me to my flowers, Sherry. They must already be in bloom. As you wish, Mum. I bet you missed the fresh air, didn't you? Terribly. The sun is far brighter than I remember. But I like it. We can walk each day from now on. If you want. That would be wonderful. Just look at them. The stars of the earth. Even the sky must be jealous of their beauty. Indeed. Mother, would you like to go around the water? That would be perfect. I always wanted such a nice pond in London. It looks so peaceful. Mycroft knew you would like it. We should put some fish in it, don't you think? How about some carp? That's a nice idea. <clears throat> Let's visit your father's tree. It grows so fast, just like you. We could even build a tree house in it. <laughs> yes, Sherry. Speaking of your father, could you call him out, please? Mom! He's... I'm sorry. He passed away. He's gone. No, he's not. I'm telling the truth. Did you forget again? No! Don't you dare say such things! You are a liar like all the others! Mother! Don't call me that! You aren't fooling me! No! You... Mum, it hurts! My son would never lie! Mum, stop! Who are you? Reveal yourself! Please, to whom? It's me, Sherlock! Elle a pété un câble, la mère. You are not my Sherry! Get me my son back up! Il est sérieux, ça?
Il découvre ce qui s'est vraiment passé. essayer de me noyer dans les temps du manoir. Euh... Après que Minecraft a pris autorité sur le fait, il l'a tenu responsable de la mort de mer. Richter a soumis mère à des médications peur d'autoc, chaque dose avait son lot d'effets secondaires potentiels. Mère prenait souvent des sédatifs, donc son propre, donc son corps les tolérait sûrement bien, il ne devrait pas causer de problème. Alors là, il y a des effets secondaires, hein, pour euh, me, <rire> me flinguer à ce point, il euh, y a un problème. Il trouve le manteau dont souffre la mère, peut-être héréditaire et pourrait effectuer mon esprit. Ah, ah Je comprends mieux maintenant le bordel. Quelqu'un a noyé mère que ce soit par accident ou volontairement. Autoricter est responsable. Mère a été noyée par Autoricter. Mycroft l'a accusé de meurtre, mais le double, le doute subsiste sur l'aspect délibéré du crime. Otto a tué Mère pour mettre fin à sa souffrance et me sauver la vie. Mycroft a dissimulé la vérité pour me protéger et avait raison d'accuser Hector et de charlatanisme. Bon, je ne devrais pas le dire. Otto a tué Mère en essayant de me sauver. La loi était un accident. Il a essayé d'affectuer une trachonomie pour la sauver. Malgré te dissimuler la vérité pour me protéger, il a accusé Otto à tort. Oh, alors là... Mère était là, hein Minecraft a dissimulé la vérité pour me protéger et avait raison d'accuser autant de Il a essayé d'effectuer une ordonnée pour la sauver. Je pense que c'est un accident. Je pense que c'est l'accident, moi. Je pense que c'est l'accident. Mais je suis, je suis pas sûr. Parce que c'est qui qui m'a sauvé du truc Parce qu'on le voyait euh, avec le... Enfin... Je crois que c'est Otto qui l'a fait. Je suis pas sûr. Franchement, je suis pas sûr. Ah ouais, je sais. Euh... Aïe, aïe, aïe. Ça, c'est... Ça, il ça, faut bien réfléchir, parce que ça dépend... Il y a, je pense qu'il y a deux fins différentes. Soit Octo Richter est le meurtrier, soit c'est un accident, et dans ces cas-là, c'est Mycroft qui a tué. C'est ça le délire. pour me protéger et avait raison d'accuser Otto de jamais ah, je sais pas mère a été noyée par Otto Richter Minecraft l'a accusé de meurtre mais le doute subsiste sur l'aspect délibéré du crime ah, allez je vais dire ça je suis pas sûr mais bon Allez, j'en je suis pas sûr du tout. Sherlock. Sherlock. Can you hear me? Come on, wake up. Get off me. Sherry, you knew, and more than that, you hid it from me. You couldn't bear the truth, Sherlock, so I shouldered it for you. I took your pain, your horror. Otto Richter murdered my mother, and Mycroft covered it up. Whisked me away from this place, buried me in schoolwork, and... and left the past to rot. And you needed a way to cope. So I helped. 
You were a lie, John. A fiction. A crutch. No, I was... I was a friend. Sherlock, please. Sherlock? What? Are you okay? I don't know. I told you not to come, Sherlock. Where is he? Who? Your friend, John. He's beside you. Was all this worth it? Is he worth it? Why, Why is, is he, he here? here? I think... In his own way, he was trying to protect me. A truth I couldn't bear. But now I must face it. Sherlock? What are you doing? You... You kept me in the dark and kept your actions quiet. You enabled Richter and his untested quackery for far too long. And worse, you wanted to lock up our mother. I wanted to give you a chance at normalcy, a childhood. There was no changing what happened, no good to come of dwelling in the past. It was lies upon lies. Otto Richter was trying to save her, but you decided he deserved to take the fall. Is that justice? The big picture, Sherlock. The big picture. Perhaps Richter was not responsible for her fit of rage, but his treatment led inexorably to that moment. You were so fragile. I could not... I... I just couldn't. I chose us over him. You know... For once, I believe you. Perhaps now that the truth is out, I can... actually do what you had hoped. Leave it all in the past. Good. You have your whole life ahead of you, Sherlock. It is time you got on with it. Bon, alors il y a plusieurs fins hein, de Sherlock, chapitre 1. Il y a au moins 4 ou 5 fins différentes, je crois. I was worried there for a minute, Sherry. Really worried. I didn't want to hurt you. <laughs> So funny. I am talking to myself, John. I think I was hurt regardless. But we made a good team, eh? Explored every inch of this place together. Helped a lot of people. Terrorized a few too, I suppose. I think I may go so far as to say, Sherry, that I have not lived wholly in vain. So that's it. It's over. You've opened every door, Sherry. Faced the past, you locked away. You don't need me anymore. I know. I will miss you all the same. I don't want you to go. Yes. You do. Mary. Goodbye, John. C'était la fin de notre aventure de Sherlock Holmes, chapitre 1. J'espère que ça vous a plu. N'hésitez pas à liker et partager la chaîne évidemment. Et on se retrouvera pour de nouvelles aventures. Ciao, bye bye. Why are you here? Closure, I suppose. And to help a friend. You and I are not friends. In a race between the thawing of the ice caps and our friendship, I would buy a boat. Ha! Is that right? I can see it now. I know what you did. What did I do? You... You needled me. From the moment we met, you were searching for weakness. You pushed me to pursue the truth about my mother. You questioned everything I did, everything I believed to... To break me. To blur truth and fiction, reality, morality. A saboteur in silk. 
Was it vengeance, man? Or do you prefer Klaus? Excuse me? You are Klaus Richter, Otto's younger brother. Do you hold me responsible for his end? Pa! There was no love lost between me and my brother. I am sure you can relate. Otto was merely the gravity that pulled me into your orbit. Or you into mine. Once I met you, I could not keep away. Why? What reason do you have for all this? To help you. You're lying. To show you that you were wrong. More lies. I know you now, Werner. Try again. To see what had happened. Or is that yet another untruth? Does it matter? Take your pick. Who cares? You're my masterpiece. I turned Sisyphus into Ozymandias. You could not see the futility of your quest until I helped you to let go of the rock. And now, nothing beside remains. I remain. Despite you and to spite you. It is a matter of will and power now. Will you overcome this or shall you decay? Oh, on that note, I brought you something. I want nothing more from you. When one wants for nothing, Sherlock, the best thing to get them is something personal. So, here you are. Now, please excuse me, but the gallery calls. I'm already conceiving my next project. You really are beautiful. My brother returned to London soon after our disagreement. He enrolled at Cambridge University, but attends only the rare classes that hold his interest. I hear he took employment at a hospital laboratory, obsessing over his experiments. I suppose he seeks solace in the empirical truth of a chemical test. I am afraid for him. His evenings are spent alone, solving citizens' menial mysteries to pass the time. And I suspect he is growing paranoid. One of my agent's vehicles recently ignited during a surveillance operation. She was lucky to get out alive. There is only one man who could orchestrate such a feat. Or perhaps two. I saved my brother. He will never forgive me. I found it! I found it! And what is that? How far, um, bruises may be produced after death? How are you? You have been in uh, Afghanistan, I perceive. How on earth did you know that? Uh, never mind. The, um, the question now is about bruising. No doubt you see the significance of this discovery of mine. Uh, it is interesting, no doubt, but practically... Why, it is the most practical medico-legal discovery for years. Had we these data sooner, hundreds of men would have paid the penalty for their crimes. Cases oft hinge upon how a man died. Now... We can know which wounds he suffered alive, which occurred post-mortem, and what instrument was responsible. And ergo, one will soon be able to calculate with utmost precision when and where death occurred, sparing the innocent and damning the guilty. Well, then you are to be congratulated. Indeed. But uh, uh, you came here on business. <laughs> Correct again. I am looking for someone with whom to take diggings, and heard you were complaining that you could get no one to go halves with you? I have my eye on a suite in Baker Street, which would suit us down to the ground. You don't mind the smell of strong tobacco, I hope? I smoke ships myself. That's uh, good enough. I get in the dumps at times, and don't open my mouth for days on end. Just let me alone, and I'll soon be right. What have you to confess now? It's best for two fellows to know what bruises each other carries before they begin to live together. 
My last companion and I... Well, I object to rows because my nerves are shaken. And I get up at all sorts of ungodly hours. <laughs> and I am extremely lazy. I have another set of vices when I'm well. But those are the principal ones at present. Do you include violin playing in your category for rows? <laughs> it depends on the player. A well-played violin is a treat for the gods. A badly played one. Oh, oh, no, that's all right. I think we may consider the thing as settled. Oh, uh, forgive my manners. My attention wavers. Sherlock Holmes. Dr. John Watson. John. <laughs>